Okay, so now this is a solution to part four uh, to question uh, of question four of the review tutorial. Now suppose that the monopolist first degree price discriminates. How much insurance will each consumer type purchase, and how much will each type pay for his coverage? Okay, so let's uh, go to the diagrams. So uh, let's go. Uh, let's get back to type one cons customers here. So this is uh, their their demand and normalize demand, and this is type two customers normalize demand. Now notice that uh, in the first in the case of first degree price discrimination I don't have the marginal revenue because if I can perfectly price discriminate my marginal revenue is going to be equal to the price. Okay. Uh, also notice that in the first degree uh, price discrimination uh, both customers will be consuming the efficient quantity, right? So efficient coverage of the insurance. So these numbers come from part one. Uh, recall that uh, type one customers uh, efficient quantity is 0 0.6 and type two customers efficient quantity is 0.4. Now, <clears throat> in the case of first degree price discrimination, the monopolist extracts all the consumer surplus from each type of the uh, consumers. So we see that uh, the price must be equal, per unit price must be equal to 8, which is the marginal cost for type 1 customers, and 6 for type 2 customers. Okay, so these triangles will be a uh, consumer surplus for type 1 customers, and this triangle should be a consumer surplus for type 2 customers. Okay, and then uh, of course. Uh, the the uh, uh, monopolist is going to charge to cover its costs, so this is the area of this rectangle and the area of this rectangle. Now notice that <coughs> uh, some of you may ask questions, so why do we add the area of these rectangles? Well, uh, if we don't, okay, those become part of the consumer surplus uh, for each type of the customers. Okay. Uh, now, uh, to find out how much each type of the customer should pay, we just need to find the area of these trapezoids. Okay, this one and this one. So let's see mathematically what this is equal to. See, I um, uh, I uh, contoured these trapezoids by red and uh, with uh, with the red ink and then with a green ink okay so uh, type 1 consumer pays one half uh, of this value so this is going to be the area of this triangle right so one half of the uh, rise times run okay plus the area of this rectangle which is 8 times 0.6 so we get 8.4 for 60 percent of the insurance coverage and type 2 customer will pay the area of this rectangle which is one uh, one half of a 10 minus 6 multiplied by 0.4 okay plus uh, the area of this rectangle which is the cost really so 6 multiplied by 0.4 so that results in 3.2 for 40 percent of the insurance coverage for type 2 uh, customers Notice that 8.4 and 3.2 are the total expenditures of type 1 and type 2 consumers respectively. So these are not the per unit prices. So the answer to this question is going to be uh, type 1 consumer uh, will consume 60% of the coverage and pay 8.4 and type 2 consumer will pay 3.2 for 40% of the insurance coverage.